Good morning, you guys. I am about to head into work. We are working three 12 hour shifts in a row in the emergency department. Just getting my badge on. I've got my trauma shears right here. And then my stethoscope. And these are the items I usually keep on me the entire time that I'm working. Um, I've had a good amount of time off, so I feel pretty like refreshed and I'm in a good mood. I'm happy to be here, excited to see everybody, excited to help patients, and it's gonna be a good time. So I'm excited to bring you guys along for three 12-hour shifts in a row in the emergency department. And also, happy December. I hope you guys are doing really well. Hello guys, I am home and I am so, so very tired. Hmm. Also, how cute is my tree? It makes me so, so happy. Like I want it up all year round. Anyways, I'm gonna briefly talk about my shift and then go jump in the shower because I'm exhausted. Um, overall, today was a really good day. We were pretty busy. We actually reached full capacity. Like we had it um, mentioned on the intercom throughout the hospital. And I haven't heard that for a while, for quite some time. So the hospital's full right now, meaning any of the admits that we have down in the ER, uh, they're staying in the ER until there's beds available upstairs. So that means that there has to be discharged patients. Obviously with it being, you know, close to midnight, no patients are being discharged at this time. So with that being said, we're boarding a ton of people in the ER and then that's taking up beds and rooms for actual ER patients. I feel like it's been a pretty common problem for a while um, across the nation, not just where I live, but it is slowly starting to come back. So. When I left, we had a lot of patients boarding. That's what we call it. So that's a lowdown on that. I had a trauma patient uh, towards the end of my shift. It was an activated trauma out on the field by EMS. Um, so we kind of could prepare for it before the patient arrived and get the trauma room set up, have all of our equipment, all of our medications, intubation equipment, tubing, all the things that might possibly be needed. Um, and it was good, it was a good refresher because I haven't had like a serious trauma in quite some time. And it's nice too because when you do get a trauma patient, we have to take a course called TNCC to actually be able to be the primary nurse on the trauma patient but when you do have them you have a provider a physician or maybe a mid-level nurse practitioner physician's assistant in there in the room with you um, upon EMS arrival and you do something called a primary assessment so you go through the patient's body physically from head to toe um usually they're maybe in a c collar um they're on a long board you look at their entire body 
and then during that we have people that are getting IV access getting vital signs and then once that's completed they go straight to imaging and get a typically a pan scan so like an image of their whole body in the CT machine and then once they're finally brought back to their ER room we do something called a secondary assessment where it's much more detailed and we really go through um, all of the body systems and get everything sorted out so yeah that was a good refresher and it kept me really busy and awake towards the end of my shift so that's where we're at and now I feel like I'm just like crashing I'm so tired and I'm like already a little anxious about tomorrow because tomorrow is Monday and Mondays are objectively the busiest days of the week so we got that going on tomorrow but we're gonna get some rest tonight i'm so excited to just go cuddle in my bed with camper i turn the heat on because it's freezing and i will see you guys in the morning good morning you guys i am just finishing up getting ready we are going to be heading into shift two out of three i got about seven hours of sleep which i'm happy about that that's always nice i could use 11 but that's just not possible so we will settle with seven <laughs> um I'm super excited to talk to you guys about the sponsor of today's video, which is Ana Luisa. If you guys have been watching my channel before, you would know that I've worked with Ana Luisa for, oh my gosh, I don't know how many years now, but several years now, and I wear their jewelry every single day. My earring stack is all Ana Luisa on both sides, and then same with my necklaces my circle and my little C for camper and I'm super excited to be partnering with them today and grateful that they're sponsoring this video because it's the holiday season and everybody loves a nice piece of jewelry that they can count on, rely on, wear through sweat and working out, through the shower, through sleep. I personally don't take my jewelry off that often, just a personal preference for me, but that just highlights the quality of their jewelry, which is also super unique. They have pieces ranging from earrings, necklaces, rings, bracelets, to all of the things. And what I love about their jewelry and the pieces that you receive is the packaging that it comes in. They come shipped in these cute little linen pouches. And then you have a beautiful piece of jewelry here. I love this necklace. This is one of the recent pieces I received. And I plan on wearing this at our Christmas holiday party at work next week. I'm really excited about that. But I just wanted to share them with you guys because I feel like it's perfect for the holiday season. They're having a ton of sales up to 35% off of all their pieces. You can use my link down below in my description box. They offer free shipping and exchanges. We love that along with a two year warranty on all of their pieces. So if you guys are interested in checking out Ana Luisa for yourself or for your friends, family, people that you love and care about you can use my link down below in my description box to uh, get a discount so thank you again Anne Louisa for sponsoring this video and making me feel a little bit more put together when I go to work every single day I'm going to finish getting ready I gotta get my shoes on grab my lunch and then we're gonna head out for shift two out of three You guys, I am so tired. I need to pack my lunch and I also need to go because I'm running late, but 
Oh my god, I am literally so tired this morning. I didn't talk to you guys yesterday after work, but that is because I stayed late after work. I stayed an extra two hours um, voluntarily to help out because we were just so incredibly busy. Like, it just... <laughs> It never, ever, ever ended. And Mondays are usually that way, but it's difficult when you don't have any beds in the hospital. And so we have so many ER patients like I've talked about before and no beds. And so we're boarding patients. We have beds in the hallways. We have a fast track area that's usually closed after a certain time and we're just having to open it up and the volume is just so much larger. And it was just so busy and um with a lot of critical patients there was a lot of critical patients a good amount of transfers um just so much going on i'd be like in a room settling an ambulance where respiratory was there a doctor was at the bedside and then i would literally hear on the med net another ambulance rolling in it's just it's december baby this is when a lot of people are getting sick, unfortunately, and and our wait times in the ER are going up. That's why I think it's so important to share with people that aren't necessarily involved in healthcare the difference between urgent care and the emergency department because a lot of things that we see could be seen in urgent care and chances are they'll get them in quicker than we can in the ER. So yeah, that's my little, my little talk for this morning. I am just... I'm tired, you guys, but that's okay. It's our Friday, and then we have six full days off, so so looking forward to that. Um, right now, I'm just packing a banana. I've got some oatmeal, and then my go-to snacks, this RX bar, a chomps, beef stick, um, a yogurt. I've got my vitamins in there, and then I wanted to make a sandwich, but I don't have enough time. Like honestly, I need to go out and get my shoes on. So I'm going to bring this dish from Trader Joe's, which is actually super good. One of the travel nurses I worked with a long time ago brought me one of these and I was like, that's delicious. And now I eat these pretty often. It's a frozen meal, but it's like an Indian dish and it's delicious. We got that, I got my water bottle with my bag with all my stuff. And yeah, we're gonna head out. It's gonna be a good day. Also, oh my gosh, when I got home last night, Granted, I was like delirious, but I had a package at my front door. I'm like, I gotta open it. It was like getting to that point where I was so delirious. Like I was really, really awake and I don't know. That's not a good point to be at. But you guys, I got a Kindle. I'm so excited for this. I decided I need to stop scrolling on my phone and watching TV so much and start reading again. So I got a Kindle, especially because my family and I are doing a trip and I wanted something like this to bring, to read, to relax. So if you have any book recommendations, please drop them down below. Any good books to escape reality. Also good like self-help books. I love those too. All right, shift three out of three. It's gonna be a great, great, great day. And I'll see you guys at work. Hi, can I do a large iced matcha latte with a scoop of honey and oat milk? You said one pump of honey? Yeah, scoop of honey, please. It's a packet. Oh yeah, that's fine. Or did you want our honey blend? That's a pump. Um, let's do the packet. Okay, let me go and fix it. I hit the wrong button. All right, and you said that was it, Steve? I guess, please. Six forty-five. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Six forty-five. Then you can add a dollar too. I appreciate that. Would you like a straw? That's okay. Thank you. Delicious. Awesome. Thank Enjoy. you so much. Y'all know I had to speed and stop and get a drink from Starbucks. I totally didn't have any caffeine this morning. I'm like driving to work about to fall asleep thinking this is not going to work for me. So I have that. And then last minute, right before I headed out my door, I grabbed a Celsius too. So we should be good. We should be energized for the day. I need to go. I need to head in. <laughs> I've got two minutes to clock in.
We did it. We did it, you guys. Shift three out of three is over. Hallelujah, it's actually super cold right now, but it was a really good shift, honestly. I had so many sweet, kind, just beautiful patients, and it reminds me of why I absolutely fell in love with this profession. I had honestly a lot going on. A really good variety of ER patients. I had patients receiving blood. I had patients going to surgery. I had patients being discharged. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was just driving with all my headlights on. Holy crap. It is definitely my Friday and I need to go home and get some sleep. Our hospital is still pretty full. I think our lobby was maybe 27, 28 deep today. Um, people waiting in the lobby. I don't remember how long our wait time hours were, but I don't think they were too bad. All things considered, we did have extra nurses come in and help out. And yeah, it was just a really good crew of people. Lots of help, lots of sweet, sweet patients, like I was saying, um, sharing their marriage stories of how they met and how long they've been together. I love hearing cute couples stories that have been together for like 60 plus years. It's so sweet. I definitely fell in love with this profession because of the connections that you get to make with people that are so special and so unique and today just reminded me again of why I love it so much and how how kind people really are even when they're going through so much that we really can't even begin to understand. Um, yeah, today was just, it was a good day. It was a good way to end my last shift and now I have six days off. It's gonna be fun. I'm just feeling happy and grateful and this is a reminder that working in healthcare has its ups and downs but it is rewarding and it's worth it and it's something that just warms my heart. Like I feel fulfilled with being able to help other people. So anyways, I'm gonna focus on driving because clearly I cannot multitask when it comes to being in the car, which you never should, but I cannot believe I was driving without my headphones for a second. That's not good. Um, I'm gonna head home and I ordered some food <laughs> through DoorDash, so it actually just got delivered to my house. I'm gonna eat that and just have a nice, cozy, relaxing night and sleep in tomorrow. And yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I just wanna say thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for three 12 hour shifts in a row in the emergency department. Um, I had I had a good time and I hope you guys did too. Also, do not forget to check out Anna Luisa and all of their beautiful pieces that they have on their website. You guys can use my link down below in my description box to check out some pieces of jewelry for yourself and your loved ones. Thank you again to Anna Luisa for sponsoring this video. And thank you guys so much for all of your sweet words and just for being here and being interested in healthcare. Um, you guys make the world a better place, truly. So I will see you guys soon. Happy December. Happy last month of the year. Bye, guys.